Good afternoon everybody. So today is a filming day for me. I'm basically in the kitchen filming. Um, I've just come up to change my battery and to grab the items for the next video. Also, I cut my finger while I was filming. It's actually quite a big cut, but hey ho. Oh, crumbs. The pizza's ready for the video. Wait. Stop. Crumbs, 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 crumbs. Hello. It is quite a while later at this point. Um, I'm exhausted from filming. I could film a couple more items, but I think I'm gonna leave it just because my energy is starting to dwindle a little bit. I also have all of this to clean up and there's mess all over the floor. The table that I was working on is just covered in stuff. Um, so I've still got a lot to do. So I feel like I'm gonna end filming there, just relax for the next 10, 20 minutes, just clean up, which I feel like can't be therapeutic. So I'm just gonna get all the cleaning done, sort that out. Then you and I are gonna make some chocolate truffles because I've been waiting for those and I'm starving. So we're gonna do that. And then I think it should be coming up to five and Nick and I are gonna go shopping. Also, I got a comment, kind of a, a rude comment, about the fact that we have two coffee machines. So I just thought I'd address it again. Not that it matters. Some people really do get so annoyed about the, the maddest of things. We have two coffee machines because one of them is broken and is a pod machine. One of them is a bean to cup machine. The pod machine is broken, which is why we got the bean to cup. But meanwhile, the pod machine still works enough for me to get through all of the pods that I had pre-bought in bulk. The Nespresso machine is actually leaking and I don't know if you can tell but there's kitchen roll underneath it to catch all of the leaking that's happening and we're just trying to get through the final pods that I have left. I think I've got two packets of pods left and then the machine will go bye-bye and everyone can calm down about the fact we have two coffee machines and I just, just, I don't understand why people are so angry about it really. I just really don't. I don't get it. I'm gonna clean. I'm gonna clean. I'm gonna try and make the little two ingredient chocolate truffles. I'm so excited for this. I saw them a while ago and I've just been waiting to make them with you. So I'm gonna, one second, I'm trying to get this nook. Here we go. I'm gonna plug you into this and I'm gonna sit you on the tripod and then we can make some stuff together. One second, help me. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. So apparently, this is all you need. Condensed milk and cocoa powder. Let me just re-watch this TikTok and see exactly what I'm doing here. Which, by the way, I had to download this TikTok because apparently TikTok was getting deleted. So I basically downloaded all of the TikToks that I thought I was gonna need. Didn't get deleted. So it looks like I'm pouring a can of condensed milk into a pan, heating it into a little bubbles form, then pouring it out and sieving over. She says one cup of cocoa powder. The only thing is she didn't say how much condensed milk was in her can but I feel like her can might have been a little bit bigger than mine in which case is one cup of this too much I don't know we're gonna we're gonna see what we can do someone said I was using a can opener wrong because I do it this way so that you slice out the middle I do realize you can do it this way and slice round the outsides but I just find that way way more messy and just no I'm sorry my ways I'm doing it my way. You do your way and I'll do my way. I personally think my way is a little nicer. Okay, so can of condensed milk into the pan. Wow. That looks amazing. Smells pretty good. Mm -mm -mm -mm. See, look, then I fold this down and I bend this in half. Perfect. Done. Lovely. I'm happy with that. Okay, so while that is cooking, I'm just gonna get some cling film um, and put it into this little dish because she seems to have one of those prepared and says that's what it's gonna sit in the fridge in. So I'm just gonna get some cling film into a dish like this. Cling film is not the easiest stuff to work with, especially when you're using a glass item or a ceramic item. It just sticks like there's no tomorrow. So we're gonna pour this into a bowl. It smells delicious. She basically says to sift this in but in intervals, because otherwise it goes clumpy, so just a little bit at a time. So I'm just gonna incorporate this a little bit at the time until it goes to a fudgy texture. Oh, I definitely feel like this isn't mixing in very well. 
<laughs> I've barely used any of the chocolate, but I feel like I'm gonna be here all day. I'm so excited for these. It also smells like pretty dark. This is unsweetened cocoa powder, like just bog standard cocoa powder. Maybe I should try this with some like galaxy hot chocolate powder. Imagine. Oh, my arm is killing me. Okay, so she does say fudgy kind of texture and I would say this is a fudgy kind of texture. What do we think? I feel like I could mix a little bit more in. I feel like there's also quite a bit on my utensil. I am a chocolatier. Look at this. This is delectable. That's amazing. Okay, so she then says, I have chocolate on my phone. She doesn't say that, I said that. She has a little dish with cling film in it and she sprinkles cocoa powder in there and then puts this in there and wraps it up. So that is what we're gonna aim for. Oh boy. This looks very scrum diddly umptious. This is what it looks like. And I'm basically just gonna put this over it like this. And then I'm just gonna put it in the fridge for two hours. Bam, that was pretty easy. Oh my freaking goodness. I have chocolate everywhere. That is delicious. Mm. I'm very, very happy with my life choices right now. Very happy. So she's then pulled it out of the fridge and it looks like it's got dusting on the top, but I don't recollect her dusting the top of it. This is where my avocado lives. It's starting to gain even more roots. So I really, really, really need to get the soil tonight and repot it. The sun is setting, do, do, do. Um, it's getting dark in here, but we're gonna try and finish off this video. So basically, I'm gonna pull it out the fridge. So this is what it looks like. And hers definitely has a layer of cocoa powder. So I feel like I'm gonna sieve a little cocoa powder on the top before I cut it and shape it. Because I really feel like she did that and just forgot to mention it. Just, there we go. So she basically said to just chop it. Oh my goodness, okay. And then, oh, wow. Okay, and then if I just do this, can I just shape it a little bit? I feel like I need some dusting. Oh my goodness, this is genius. That's adorable, I love it. And that was really quite easy to do. Look at these little truffles. Thank you to that wonderful girl on TikTok for showing me these. I haven't actually tried one yet, so I don't even know how good they taste, but they look like they taste amazing. Very sticky. So I never knew I was so skilled at making chocolate truffles. Um, turns out it is in my skill set. I mean, sure, it was just two ingredients. Sure, it wasn't that difficult. And sure, I haven't even tried one yet and they might taste gross. But still, look at them. Look at them. They're so cute. I'm so happy. So I have got this technique down. You chop it into a square. It looks like this. It's a little bit uh, sticky on the edges. So you just dip your finger in a little bit of cocoa powder. Just, just work with it. Just cover the sides with it. Gently round it a little bit. Tap it on the top. Flip it over. Round the edges a little bit. Tap, tap, tap. Lovely, lovely. Truffle. I'm having a great time here. I'm a little bit nervous to try one because I feel like I've really built them up in my head. And I feel like I've really, really made it out that I'm a genius at making these. So if they taste disgusting, I'm gonna be really let down. Tell me you don't want one of these and be honest, because I think you're lying. You definitely want one of these. Look at them. They look delicious. They actually look incredible. I'm so happy with myself. I I'm made them up. myself. What's in it? I don't believe Cocoa it. Cocoa powder and condensed milk. Really? Yeah. Are they nice? I don't know, I haven't tried one. Do you want to try one with me? Definitely. You tell me if it's good. Not the whole thing. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were going to take a little bite. Is it good? That's amazing. Is it? Try one of them. <laughs> is it good? That is what? Yeah? Is that all you do? Yeah. Try that. That nice, isn't it? Give me a glass of milk. That is nice. That is a hack. That's the hack of all hacks, that. That is genius. That is brilliant. I get a lot of comments because every time I test things, people are like, what does Nick do? Like when he comes home and sees you. And a lot of the time Nick will come in and I'll be like, look at this, look at this, look at this. So I figured I'd show you me showing Nick a potato being peeled. Pretty good, Sam. 
It's a very lazy way of peeling it. Yeah. <laughs> it's quicker than I do it though. What do you think? That's amazing. And look at that long piece of peel. You could skip with that. Do you want to try skipping with That's it? That's it. <laughs> <laughs> You ready? We do have a skip and rope, you know. Nick, you can skip with potato peel. That's not what it's for. If you are able to get yourself some condensed milk and some cocoa powder, this is the one hack from TikTok I really think you should try. I just said to Nick, oh, I feel a bit queasy. And Nick said as well, a little while ago, he felt sick as well. He's like, oh, I feel a bit sick. But he did eat a lot more chocolate, so I feel like he, that's why he felt sick. But now I feel a bit queasy, so I'm wondering, <laughs> did we just eat too much chocolate? Or is condensed milk and chocolate not great for you? Because we both feel a bit queasy, and it makes me laugh every time I say, oh, I feel a bit sick, and it's something to do with food. Nick always says, did you double dragon me? Because this one time, um, when I was in university, Nick came over and we got a takeaway. Uh, from some place called Double Dragon. Hopefully no one knows where that is. So <laughs> they probably I don't, will. Yeah, don't I don't, destroy their reputation. Uh, yeah, I don't want to give them a bad reputation. It, it could was be. Like that. It was lovely food. Just, it was delicious food. It, it was delicious food, but it did have prawns in it, and prawns are iffy. And Nick ended up being sick at 6 a.m. in the morning. Um, woke me up and was just. It was a bad time, so now whenever anything comes to being sick and we've just eaten food, Nick's like, it's double dragon. I've been double dragon. <laughs> so yeah, I, I, I feel a bit queasy, <laughs> but we're about to pop out to the shops. We're gonna get our food, um, come home, and then play some Pokemon. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We are back home from shopping. There were so many more people wearing masks out today, which made me so much happier because for the longest time now, Nick and I have pretty much been the only people wearing masks. Whereas today, pretty much everyone else was, which made me feel a lot safer because obviously if I'm wearing a mask, I'm doing more to protect other people than they are to protect me. Whereas today, loads more people were wearing masks. So I felt a lot more protected and safe and it was just, just made me feel a lot better, but we are home now. Fruit and veggies are washed, hands are washed. We're all clean. We did manage to pick up some soil from Waitro, so I get to plant my avocado tomorrow, which I'm so excited about. Dinner is on. It should be ready in about 20 minutes, so I'm gonna go chill. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna end this vlog here. I have taken my contacts out. I'm just about to wash my face, do my skincare routine. Then I think I might jump in the bath, but I might wait a little while because I am full, just finished dinner, um, and then I just want to relax for the rest of the evening. So I'm gonna say goodbye now. I hope you did enjoy. Give it a thumbs up for me if you did enjoy the video. It lets me know that you are enjoying it. It also lets YouTube know that you're enjoying it. Um, and then yeah, I will see you guys soon. Bye.